Yo, what's happening everybody out there on YouTube? It's your boy Super Sneaker Bro Quick at it again with another video. And today we bring to you something that I am more hyped up about than the Yeezy 2s that released today because I'm not a big Yeezy fan, but I am a big Jordan fan. And today we have for you the Jordan 7 Pantone. So without further ado, let's get into this shoe. This is <laughs> a awesome awesome color well shoe. Uh, Pantones are one of the most exclusive or, or I, actually I wouldn't even say exclusive. I'd just say one of the most interesting, most intriguing colorways of Jordan brand because they were that pack that only a couple of people had. Only a couple of people had a pair of Pantone, any any number, one through whatever. Only a couple of people had a, a Pantone and now they are releasing it so people are, are it's more widely available and people can actually go and pick up something that they feel is exclusive and of course anytime you put this baby blue or unc or columbia blue on a shoe on a jordan shoe people are going to look at it a little differently because of the history that michael jordan actually has with unc and how that's his alma mater and and whatnot and i feel in terms of this release that Jordan Brand might have messed up. One, they gave us a new book, which is a nice new book, and we'll get into that in a moment. But they released a new book shoe in the middle of the summer, right after they released the UNC Jordan 11 Lows for summer. And then last year, they released the Jordan 9 Pantones, which had leather. So you're going to release a UNC colored shoe right after you just release a UNC color shoe in New Buck in the summer. Why not have it full grain or tumbled leather? Or why not wait and release this in the winter? I don't know. Um, that's just my personal thoughts on it because one, and with, fuck it, without further ado, let's get into the shoe. One, you have a white bottom and that white bottom is going to get completely dirty. If you just saw my last bid, I was just talking about how the Yeezy 2 cream white is going to get completely demolished in Atlanta because it's an all white bottom, um, an all white shoe. But you have that all white bottom. You have a nice kind of premium ish new buck. Like you can see the, the, the back and forth on the back and forth when you rub your fingers across it, how the, the grain of the new buck changes colors. It's a very slight, but you can still see it and it feels very soft. Like I'm, I'm not joking, it does feel very soft. Um, of course, you have that all UNC Carolina upper, um, UNC Carolina baby blue laces. You have uh, black insides. And, of course, I haven't taken these out yet, but I, I'll go ahead and take these out for you. Let's get that out of there. We have the all black inside with the Carolina blue insole with a white jump man. If you can't see that, if the camera can catch that. If not, I'll make sure to put it inside. If not, I'll make sure to just put it in there, motherfucker. Anyway, so... In terms of the quality on the shoe, the upper is a uh, great quality, right? Like I said, I like the upper. I like the upper. I think it's a good quality. I, I think that everything was pretty, pretty on point with that. However, I'm looking at my pair, and I have, I have stretch marks. <laughs> I have stretch marks on my Jordan already, and I haven't even put these on feet. And of course, if you know what I mean by the stretch marks, you know when you wear a Jordan or you wear a shoe that has that foam or polyurethane foam midsole, it's going to decrease. It's going to compress because of the pressure that you're putting on it, right? I already have that. Like, seriously, like, I've been walking in these for a moment now. And that wouldn't really get on my nerves if I didn't have that on the peaks, on the mountains, or whatever you want to call it, the blades of her, some people call it. I have those stretch marks kind of distressed inside of the mountain of my shoe and it's on the entire shoe and on both shoes and I'm just like what's going on Jordan Brand like why do I get a shoe that looks like it's been worn and I even checked like the toe box and it almost kind of looked like it has a crease on the toe box but everything else looks fine like you have a crease on the toe box but you don't have a crease on the side panels right here uh, that make up that 23 that would show someone has put this on so i don't know what that's all about um i also have like a small very very small red mark here like like i said like georgia clay has hit it and these are just coming out the box for this review but i don't know man I, i'm going to deal with it because i'm kind of used to jordan brand kind of giving us that eh when it comes to quality and i buy the shoe for aesthetics i don't buy it for the performance i'm not about to go outside and hoop in these shoes by any means if i was i probably wouldn't even buy a jordan i'd probably go out and buy another shoe like uh lebron which i actually buy for aesthetics as well or or Kyrie, 
or a Kevin Durant or something along the lines of that. Uh, honestly, I might even buy D-Row 7 Boost because those are awesome or Crazy Boost or something like that. But anyway, nice shoe on a scale from 1 to 10. Um, we I'm gonna have to break these up into do two different months in two different seasons because if you're wearing this in the summer I say it's about a seven only because of this new book and I live in Atlanta Like I said, I say it all the time that that pollen is going to get on this shoe and turn it into a dirty Nasty disgusting looking green if you're wearing it in the winter I think oh this is like a 10 because it does have that white that I feel like white can be worn in the winter because of like snow and whatnot. Some people have the seasonal change. We're not going to get into that. But I think that it's going to be a nice shoe uh, for the winter because of that and that new buck. But I'm most likely to still wear it for the summer because of this baby blue color. But, of course, on Super Sneaker Bros, we want to know what you think. We want to know how, how, what you feel about this shoe. How did you feel about this release with these shoes releasing on the same day that the Easy V2 Cream White did? Do you feel like that's the reason why they're still sitting? Because, oh, they are still sitting um, I was able to walk in and get this shoe without any issues like they hadn't even put the display out yet at like 2 o'clock because nobody wanted them nobody came in and asked about them but of course I buy shoes that I like not because of the hype and you should too so y'all let me know what you think of course like comment and subscribe we live off of your feedback in terms of we want to know what you want to see and we say that every video because we really mean that. And by we, I mean any super sneaker bro that gets into this video. We want to know what you think and what type of content you want us to provide. So, th with that being said, I'm going to give y'all some on feet of these outside as well as a close-up of the shoe. And this is Super Sneaker Bro Quick, and I'm out. Peace. Last year we were going on the road. Yeah. Last year we were turning up shows. Yeah. Last year we were saving them souls Tim sitting out a bit bang rolls And if they don't know, I'ma let the world know That we at it again, at it again, at it again, at it again Me and my bobo, we at it again, at it again, at it again At it again, at it again Me and my bobo, we at it again, at it again, at it again, at it again I think I'm strung out on all this success <laughs> Boy, I'm an addict doing Let me not say too much Before these folks get dramatic again I done turned my life around Like, what happened to sin? Last year we were going on the road Yeah Last year we were turning up shows